He's Mayor Eric Seidel joining us live this morning. I know you guys have worked really hard on this. We have. We have. We're excited about it. You know, two and a half years ago, we had really zero dollars being invested into the city in that particular area, the downtown area that we've designated our CRA. And now we have considering what's in the pipeline under consideration about $90 million worth of investment. So we have a lot of consensus building still to go through with the community, but uh, it's an exciting time. It has been great talking to you this morning, getting to know you and your history a little bit. You owned a software company for a while. You've got a beautiful home just a few blocks down here. We can see your dock from where we're set up. We're spoiled. And what's rare, I think, in politics is you actually had an issue with something and you kind of took the mantra, well, if I want something done right, I'm going to do it myself, and you got convinced to run for mayor. Well, it's true. It's true. And a lot of people get involved in local politics that way. They see something they don't like or something along that lines. Well, they don't want to be longtime politicians, per se. But so I was building my home. I was remodeling it. It was a house that I had purchased and, and got through some disagreements with the city. And finally, uh, I, I did cave. <laughs> like, I what? tore down the house and rebuilt it, <laughs> which was good that I did because they got me to build up, which really saved me. But I, in that process, decided, hey, I, I don't like this. And so I ran. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're mayor, you can actually do what you want to do. Well, it's funny because I'm building something now, and I submitted my plans, and the city once again turned out my plan. So it doesn't matter if you're mayor or not. The rules are the rules. It, but it's all good. Mayor Eric Seidel with us. Uh, the parks, so many parks around here. I visited Veterans Memorial. We're going to uh, profile that at 9. Excellent. There's so many parks in Old Park. Lots of parks. People don't know this, that... In Oldsmar, uh, we have more parks per square mile than any city in the state of Florida. And so it's somewhere just around 40% of our landmass is dedicated to parks, preserves, trails. And, and that's, that's not by coincidence, by design. There is a good history of leadership in this city where they've thought about that and planned for that. So, so we, we're proud of that. So there's 12,000 people on Sarah's Walking Club Facebook group that love to hear that. There's more parks here per square mile than anywhere else you're going to find in the entire state. Thank you so much. I know you were home watching our coverage. You didn't want to come over for the interview. You're like, I just want to keep watching the show. I, I wanted to watch it because, you know, I, 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 we're grateful that you guys are here. You've done such a good job highlighting the city. For me, I think there's two takeaways. Okay. Number one, uh, there's a lot going on in our city. It's vibrant. It's, it, it's, uh, we, we pay attention to that old town charm feeling, but it's also vibrant and a lot going on. Our average age, our medium age, is the lowest out of all the cities in Pinellas County. Love Most to hear that. Know that. And the second takeaway is, which I hope has come through in the interviews, okay. and that is what makes our community great mm -hmm. is the citizens. They're friendly, they're welcoming, and they're engaged, and they take a lot of pride in our city. I will say this, you and your staff have been very welcoming to us. It makes our jobs very easier to be here. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, for being here.